Since I was a little girl, I felt as though so much was outside of my control. I wanted the power to decide my own fate, and in many ways, I couldn't find that. I tried to control my heart, but that eluded me too. It was through cooking that I learned to express my own personal tastes and make my own choices. I found comfort in that control. I can't prevent bad things from happening to me, but I can ensure that I cook a good meal for myself. The proper combination of ingredients can make anything bland taste exciting. It has taken me years to perfect my methods. When I was young, I was unsure of myself, timid and unadventurous. I followed everything by the book, played by someone else's rules. Once I grew dissatisfied with the results, I started doing things my way. I made things up as I went and discovered how much power I have. Now I can choose the best vegetables, the freshest cuts of meat, and it's up to me what I add and when I add it. At first, my uncertainty led me to overseason, to undercook. I didn't know what I really wanted, couldn't quite put my finger on it. At times, I fumbled. As I improvised, however, my confidence grew. Through trial and error, I learned. I pushed the extremes, explored the limits of my imagination. As with all experimentation, I was not always successful. It was through this process that I developed my own unique palette and personal preferences. I discovered a harmony and flow to my cooking, and, as with life, are best when they can have a sense of balance. The failures strengthened me. As time went on, I found the key ingredients. I found my sure footing. I was finally able to directly control exactly what I got out of every experience. My choices were wiser and truer to myself, and I found success. However, all things in time do go bad. Nothing lasts forever, uh, and I hate that I can't change that, but that's okay. I don't mind eating alone. <laughs>